Alright, so welcome back to the texturing part of this tutorial, where we're now going to go ahead and texture and, and render Bender, and we're also going to be doing a lot of Photoshop post work, so first thing that we want to go ahead and do here is we want to delete the UVs off of what is actually going to get mapped. So first thing that we want to go ahead and do is we want to delete the UVs off the eyes, as well as what is going to be the plug for where Bender is being jacked on. So. I've actually just made a shortcut to delete those UVs off of my shelf, but to go ahead and find that button, all you need to do is just open up your UV editor, come over to your polygons menu, all the way down to the bottom, and hit delete UVs, and this will delete the UVs off of those objects. I'm not going to do the mapping inside of my here because I tend to actually use a, an external program a lot more than I do Maya's UV mapping tools even though these aren't necessarily that complex um, I'm still gonna go ahead and do the mapping outside of Maya so let's go ahead and just export these objects out and we'll rename them so we'll just go to the desktop and we'll just export these as OBJs so let's go and say right eye okay same thing here for the left eye. Just make sure that we name these correctly. And we're going to go call this the wire. Okay, so now we'll just jump here into roadkill. Let me go ahead and bring this over. And we'll go ahead and just load this. And we'll start with our left eye object. Now, the key here is where I want to map it. Um, you can always just cut it, in the, I can always just cut it in the middle here simply because we're basically going to be using a fairly simple texture but I want to just you know cut off a little bit of extra so I'll just basically do this in the back and you can see where whenever I hit C it gives us a fairly decent cut um, nothing that's really going to be that difficult to go ahead and texture even though we're still using a fairly basic texture let's go ahead and save that do the same thing here for the right eye object. Just hit E to double select the edge, hit C to make that cut, save it, go ahead and load our wire here. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and cut this in the back. And I'm also going to cut here on the top edges. And you can see where we're going to get a decent UV layout here. I also need to go ahead and cut here on this one. And there you can see where we're going to have a, a really clean UV layout here. Okay, so let's go ahead and hit save. Just jump back to Maya here. Okay, and we'll just add these unmapped objects to their own layer. Just making sure that we rename this. Okay, and we'll just simply go ahead and import here. So we'll go our left eye, our right eye, and our wire. Let's just go ahead and select our eyes here. Just jumping into the UV editor. And I just want to make sure that I select one just so I know exactly what's what here. Okay, so we'll just go ahead and move this over. And go ahead and select our other eye here select the bottom portion of the or the back portion of those eyes okay we'll just go ahead and move this over same thing here and we'll just go ahead here and scale these down just so that we can at least get it inside the zero to one texture space here and we're gonna have to go ahead and scale that down just a little bit more there okay select these two pieces bring them into the UV editor and our UVs for our eyes is pretty much done here so we'll just go ahead and select the entire shell come up to polygons UV snapshot and you can see I'm exporting out at a 4096 map and this is just gonna make it easier for myself to go ahead and um, paint the texture so we'll just click browse we'll just export this to the desktop okay and we'll go ahead and grab our wire here putting our wire on its own UV okay and we'll just go ahead here and rotate this a little bit here and I'm gonna 
relax and unfold it. Let me just go ahead and scale this up a little bit here. And that's fine. So we'll just go ahead here and scale this back down so that it fits in the 0 to 1 space. Same thing here for the, the top pieces. And we'll just go ahead and select this entire shell. UV snapshot will basically do the same thing here. And we'll just export this to the de desktop. Wire UV. Okay, hit OK. And now that we have those exported out, let's just go ahead here and jump into Photoshop real quick. And this will just take a second to load. Okay, so now we'll just go ahead here and open up our UV for our eyes. And we just need to be mindful of where we're going to be texturing here. Okay, so if we just grab an edge, we know that our eye is actually going to have to fit inside of this little um, top piece. Okay, so corresponding to our UV, that that is going to be this little circle here. So we we just have to go ahead and place those properly okay so let me just close roadkill here jump into photoshop i'm going to double select our background layer here just so i can unlock it i'm going to go ahead and create a new layer i'm going to go ahead and hit control a we're going to go ahead and fill this with white okay and we'll drag our uv to be on top of our base color there. We'll just change our filter type here just so that we can actually see our UV and we just need to adjust this just a little bit here just so we can see this a little bit better and that actually works for me. Okay so let's go ahead and create a new layer. Call that layer 2 so we'll call this lay, um, the left eye also go ahead and create a second layer calling this the right eye okay so let's just go ahead and with our marquee tool here we're gonna go ahead and draw out a square okay and we're gonna go ahead and that might actually be a little too small there so with that square selected Let's go ahead and fill this with black. Okay, as you can see there, there's basically one texture for his eye. And that's actually on the wrong layer there. So we'll say, just rename this as his left eye. Just need to rename this one as right eye. Okay, so we'll go ahead here and move over. And we need to go ahead and draw this out and we're not going to draw out a square we're more or less going to draw out a rectangle here okay so draw that out we'll go ahead and fill this with black again okay so now he has one square eye and one rectangle eye so let's go ahead and turn our UV off here go ahead and save out our map and we'll just go ahead and put this into our project directory in our source images folder here okay so we'll call this I texture we're gonna save it out as a PSD um, as well as a JPEG okay so jump back to Maya here just go ahead and close our UV editor there and we're going to come into our hyper shade create a V-Ray material here hit control A to bring up the attributes for our shader go ahead and plug in a file node here okay plug in our eye texture and this will take a second or two to upload there or update I'm sorry go ahead and select our objects apply that to the the objects and just making sure and you can still see where that's going to be a little bit too large so 
I need to just jump back into Photoshop here and we'll go ahead and uh, work on this <coughs> left eye first okay so we know that this is too large here so we need to go ahead and scale this down a little bit so just come up to edit scale and I'm holding down control alt and shift to scale uniformly okay and we'll just go ahead here and place this properly and we'll do the same thing over here for the right eye so we'll just move this a little bit more into place here okay let's go ahead and let's update this and then see what this looks like here jump back to Maya we'll just select the file node and I'm gonna go ahead and hit refresh and you can see where it updates there okay and I can just simply go ahead and rotate this since we don't uh, really have to worry about what the shape actually um, or the texture inside of Photoshop already looks good enough so we can just simply rotate the the model as we need here okay and those look fine um, I'm thinking about making this right eye just a little bit larger so maybe let's just go ahead and select this make sure we go ahead and turn on our UVs back on here and we're gonna go ahead and scale this up just a little bit um, not too much because I still want to try to maintain at least some workability there um, I don't want to make one pupil a lot larger than the other one okay so we'll just go ahead and reselect our file node as you can see here inside of the hyper shade and I just moved this off the screen so that I can save the real estate for you guys to watch so I'm just gonna go ahead and select the node just hit refresh and I think I'm happy with that okay so let me just go ahead here and jump back to Photoshop make sure I save the PSD here okay and I can go ahead and close that and I want to go ahead and open up the UV for what is our wire because we're going to need to go ahead and texture this as well okay so now I want to go ahead here and pose the eye before I start working on the the wire texture so we'll just select the eye we'll go ahead and freeze out the transformations and clear out the history and you can simply do that by coming up to modify freeze transformations or edit delete byte type history and modify center pivot I just simply made a shelf shortcut for those buttons which is you know a fairly simple script and you guys can actually go ahead and look at it here let me go ahead and clear out my script editor there you can see where the the script is actually fairly simple and it's just those three lines that have been simply added to a shelf button I've actually gotten a lot of requests for that button and it's just three lines of code okay so let me go ahead and just pose these eyes real quick just jump into our shot cam okay and we need to give him sort of a u, um, euphoric look here like he's really taking pleasure in this okay so that looks fine with me I'm gonna go ahead here and edit some of the attributes of the material shader so we definitely want it to be reflective so we'll just turn the reflection color to white we'll just turn the amount down to say something like 0 0.089 this should give us enough um, reflection especially whenever we go ahead and place our lights or reflection subdivisions here we'll just jump up to something like 15 and this is going to give us a very smooth reflection okay so the, with those done let's go ahead here and texture our wire so we just need to make sure that we um, select some faces here because I want to know exactly where I'm going to go ahead and actually be putting a logo onto the wire here okay so let me go ahead and open up my UV editor here zoom out a little bit and it has to be <coughs> on those faces or it can be on these faces we could also probably go ahead and
put these right put it like right in the middle here okay just to make sure that we know exactly where it is here okay so let's just jump back here into Photoshop we'll go ahead and repeat the same process here we're just gonna go ahead and double click that layer create a new layer let's go ahead and fill this with yellow okay go ahead and change our UV here to screen so that we can see through it okay and okay so now let me go ahead here and open up a logo that we're going to be using for our wire and you can see where it says high voltage here so let's go ahead and just drag this down and just remembering where those UV edges were let's just go ahead here and rotate this a little bit here and I want to go ahead here and scale this up as well just a little bit um not too much I may actually have to scale it back down once I jump into Maya again so let's just change our blending there okay let's go ahead and save this out as our wire texture so we'll just go ahead and put this into our project directory again inside of the source images folder of our project directory so let's call this wire texture and we're going to save this as um, a PSD as well as a JPEG again okay and we'll jump into Maya here and just close our UV editor bring back our hypershade clear our workspace create a new V-Ray material and let me go ahead and rename this okay hit control A and we'll bring in a file node here for our color just turning the filter type off because we don't want it to be blurred at render time okay select the object go ahead and apply this and you can see where our high voltage texture is probably a little bit too large so let's go ahead and scale that down a little bit and we're gonna go ahead and move this in here just need to go ahead and scale this down just making sure that that's gonna be placed properly go ahead and hit save as just go ahead and replace our original wire select the shader just hit reload and there you can see where it's looking good now okay so let's go ahead and edit some of our properties here we want it reflective and that color to be white we'll just turn the amount down the subdivisions up change the glossiness a little bit here give it a little bit of roughness okay um, we're not necessarily going to be changing anything else here let's go ahead and take a, a render sample and see what that looks like I think that's okay um, that looks fine we should be okay with that okay so let's go ahead here and also take a render sample of the eyes just to make sure that this looks fine and those eye shapes look fine um, there's really no problems there and I think we're in the next lesson ready to come back and go ahead and do Bender's actual shading okay so I'm gonna call in an end for this lesson and then in the next lesson we'll come back and continue working on Bender